Hey, I'm David Morgan. I'm running for Lawrence County Executive. Man, I'm excited. I'm a Republican candidate. I'm excited about the opportunity to be able to help Lawrence County. This is my home. Moved here when I was one year old. Grew up here, went to school here. Stephanie and I are raising five children in Lawrence County. And I'll tell you what, I look at those five babies of mine, and they, they are the main reason why I'm running for this office. I think leadership matters more than ever before. And uh, I, I just think that being godly, being conservative, being Republican matters in this day and age more than it's ever mattered, in my opinion, because there's so much happening in our culture today that's trying to change uh, who we are and our values. And I just believe here in the South, especially right here in the Buckle of the Bible Belt, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, that uh, having a county executive that has those kind of principles, has those kind of morals, has those kind of standards matter uh, so much more than anything else. And that's my baseline. That's where I come from. I'm a minister. Also, I'm a contractor um, and also involved in a lot of different nonprofit work. So uh, being involved in nonprofit work has really gotten me involved in the community more and more and more. And so I'm excited about this opportunity. Uh, I didn't go looking for this. People came to me. Prayerfully considered for two years before I said yes to jump into this race, but now I'm more confident than ever that this is exactly where I need to be. But I need the voters of Lawrence County to believe in me as well. And we need 51% come August 4th. I'm looking forward to the opportunity, man. I'm going to focus highly on improving the quality of life for all Lawrence County. And we're going to do that through through quality education, sustainable, a strong education system, preserving what we believe is valuable here in our education system, keeping out all the crazy stuff. Uh, that we see across the country is being pushed to our children, second, third, fourth, fifth grade, things that shouldn't even be taught in schools. Uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic work great for a long, long time. So we're going to get back to some of those basics if I have anything to do with that. Also, we're talking about reducing crime. I've been a very, very instrumental in that over the last several years. Reducing crime is a big deal to me through drug rehab and different things with our court system. Uh, various other initiatives. Infrastructure is a big deal for Lawrence County. We need to build out our infrastructure. A lot of people that don't have water, good water in Lawrence County, we want to make sure they have that. So that's huge on my list as well. And then we're looking at other opportunities uh, to do a lot of other things. Last thing finally is transparency in government. Everything I want to do, everything that we do in my administration, if I'm so fortunate to win, transparency is number one. I believe the voters deserve to know what's going on at the highest levels of government in our county, and there's no higher level of elected official in Lawrence County than a county executive. And so my plan and my, my promise is that we're going to be transparent and Lawrence County is going to know what's going on. We're going to see incredible things happen with economic development, with new businesses coming here. We're going to hit the ground running, work hard. I don't know what a full-time uh, schedule is. I work more than full-time in everything I've ever done. I pour my life into everything I've ever done. We don't punch a clock. And, and when you own your own business, you don't punch a clock in ministry. Uh, you don't punch a clock in nonprofit work. There's people that are in need all the time. And that's my normal. That's my baseline. And that's that's the promise I make to Lawrence County. I will work more than full-time, pour my life into this opportunity. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity tonight and looking forward to leading this county for the next four years.